All right, well, it, um, I'm in Florida City, and I just checked everything, and I'm getting ready to leave. It's about 8 o'clock. It's a bit chilly today. It's actually only 60 degrees. Feels nice, though. And I guess these people are waiting on um, some work because they're just standing out here waiting on work. At the Home Depot. Yeah, but it's 8 o'clock and I want to go ahead and get on the road because I want to try to get up and out of Florida, but not all today. That's one of my favorite songs, Fields of Gold. Okay, um, yep, so I'm going to get on the road here in just a minute. Hey everybody, I'm getting on the road now. It's almost 8.30, well, 8.25. And I'm going to be going to Okeechobee, or back to Okeechobee, which is about four hours from here. I hope the traffic's not too bad today. It didn't seem like it. downpoured yesterday as it was getting nighttime and a big thunderstorm came in. But it's nice, it cooled everything down. It has been a bit hot lately. I'm definitely not taking one up. I'm gonna take a different route. It's kind of like the back way up. Alright. I'll see you at the road definitely going to be more of the scenic route. Farm labor. They actually have a bus that uses for farm labor. I can see why they call this place Homestead. There's a lot of farm land here. Um, on the back roads. A lot of uh, nurseries as well. Palm Grove. There's big palms. We have a 24 hour help. Well, that doesn't look very safe. <laughs> Past a casino hotel. I'm sure that would make great for um, boondocking because I saw some RVs there and right across the street, actually, at that intersection um, here on 997 was um, a truck stop. And they actually had a truck wash, like a car wash. <laughs> it's just a lot bigger. I never knew they had one of those, but it was cool. Wow, being so, um, it's not that far from Miami, but it's not built up out here on 997. Um, I was kind of thinking that I should have probably taken 997 down from Okeechobee. This would have been a lot better than the busy interstate. It's just nice. I, I mean, speed limit's 55, which is around what I go anyways. And it's just nice and peaceful on this road. This is um, a lot of the reason why I'm exploring too. So I get to know my way around the United States for when I travel to different areas. So whenever I come back, 
speeding. All right, I'm actually getting ready to get on US 27. 65 on this road, which I will not be going. Oh, and they have a bike lane on this road too, so. For you bicyclists out there. Hey, fellow RVer. Actually, the, um, the Everglades Holiday Park is on this road too. For those of you wondering, it's about six miles up the road. There's the Everglades Holiday Park. Turn left here at this light in South Bay. An overcast day. And actually, I guess there's a cold front that came in because, like I said, it was 60 when I um, got up today. And it's only supposed to get, I guess, to as high as only like 70 in the 70s. So it's not going to be too hot today, which is good. I like cooler days when I'm trying to drive because it's easier on hand. I don't like when it's really hot. Oh, wow. It's like a whole bunch of bicyclists. I'm coming into Bell Glades and um, I think I'm going around Okeechobee, um, okay, oh sorry, <laughs> Okeechobee um, Lake. This is the route to go around it and go to Okeechobee. Gator Boulevard. Mm, that's lovely. <laughs> oh look. They have like a um, airplanes there. It's cool. Little yellow and blue airplanes. But it looks like they're getting ready to take off. Or they're working on it or something. Little airfield. Get SR80, that's 43 miles to um, West Palm, which I won't be going to. But the SR80 was also called Hooker Lane. <laughs> well then, wow, look at that. Just open expansion of farmland. Land. It's actually very beautiful. Um, wow. That does not look safe at all. I guess that's why he's pulling over. Okay. I've seen those all over. They have the little um, farmer signs. That's so cute. <laughs> little farmer on his tractor. Well, this is a big bend in the road. Goes all the way over here and then turns back and goes back the other way. It turns back and goes the same way. Oh, God. 
Pahokee, Florida. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oops, it's 300. Oh, you can come remember. My GPS is really a pain in the butt sometimes. Well, I took the wrong way, so my GPS is kind of slow on telling me when to turn. But this is a small town. Dollar General and a family dollar. <laughs> oh, no, gas is still expensive here. 263. I have half a tank, so I'm good. Big palm trees. Cool. Um, actually, Lake Okeechobee is to the left hand side. It's over here. See that big ridge? I guess that's blocking like Okeechobee. 25 miles away from Okeechobee. Wow, this is a really, really small town. <laughs> I'm getting ready to get on, um, West 700 and go around Okeechobee Lake to Okeechobee. Oh look, a pop-up camper. United States Post Office.
another RV park. This is Country Village RV Park. There's the number, 863-763, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I can't wait to go by too fast. Wow, there's a lot, a lot of RV parks here. I'm sure it's probably inexpensive to stay around this area because, well, I don't know. But I would think so with there being so many RV parks here that you could probably get something pretty inexpensive. Not to mention, I have seen a lot of RVs in this area, so. Another RV park. And another RV park. Wow, they're just right next to each other, aren't they? Definitely, there's, oh, $15 a day. Wow, that's cheap. Yeah, that's definitely, it says, uh, there's another RV park. There is nothing but RV parks along this road. And then being here for the lake, I can't see a reason. Ooh, more cows! Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm really close to my destination now, so I'll see y'all up the road. Uh, Zachary Taylor RV Resort. That reminds me of the Zachary Taylor, um, State Park guy went and saw in my, I mean, Key West. The RV Park Store, Mobile Home Depot. There are a lot of cows on this road. It's an odd place to have cows for a cow pasture. Oh, horsies. I know I said I'd see you up there, but I saw some things, so I thought I'd share with y'all. Um, Walmart, I'm going, I'm going through um, Okeechobee right now, but I'm going to go to Walmart so I can go get some groceries. And then I'm probably going to come back. There's a Home Depot right there. I'm going to come back to the Home Depot, and right over here, there's uh, like a flea market. So I'm probably going to, yep, see the sign, flea market. So I'm probably going to come back here and go take a look and see what they have at the flea market. I haven't been to one in so long. So that be that should be fun. But yeah, definitely I'm hungry. So I'm going to go get me something to eat first. Get some groceries. I need some groceries. <laughs> Welcome to the city of Okeechobee. That's a sign. I remember that Home Depot when I came here because um, I actually passed um, Walmart and had to do a quick turnaround. Okay, and here's Walmart. And then Walmart was right next to, they have a gas station here. Gas is still expensive here. It's $2.50. Yep, I remember this Walmart. But I'm at um, a little over a quarter of a tank, so I'll be getting gas before I leave here. Well, I already did a quick walk around and made sure everything was okay. And everything seems good. It is windy and it's kind of, actually, it feels really cool here. The sun's out, but it feels really cool here. It's nice actually. It's been hot in the keys and stuff. Now that person just has their little generator out and about right on the parking lot. Huh. I never did understand that. Why are you going to run your generator? That's why I have solar. <sighs> that way you don't have to run a generator. They can be so loud and obnoxious sometimes. That one wasn't too bad, but yeah, it's not quiet like solar. All right.